welcome dear students we are on the cc gurukul lecture today we are discussing the printed circuit boards and up to now we discuss that what are the printed circuit boards and what material we use in fabrication of the printed circuit board now we discuss the types of printed circuit board what are the types of pcb so types of pcb means types of printed circuit board we classified into various types which based upon the manufacturing process design specification and application required for the many fields so the printed electronic circuit are designed on the basis of its application so the more complex design based upon the consumer's need and the requirement pave the way of the manufacturing of the different type of the pcb board so pc board are defined or or the fabricated on the base of the need so there are the different type of pcb board available that is one is a single sided pcbs second is a double sided pcb and third is a multi layer pcb and fourth is a rigid pcb and fifth is the flex pcb then the rigid flex pcb so these are the various types of the pcb that is used for the uh, according its application so first is the a single sided pcb is the most common type of printed circuit board and it has a single conductive copper layer about the substrate we can see on the diagram that here we are having the single sided pcb which is having the base that is a substrate on which on which the copper layer is printed on the copper layer that is the solder mask so single sided pcb is a most common type of printed circuit board and it has a single conductive copper layer above the substrate next is the uh, electrical component are soldered placed on one side of the board and that the entire etched circuit is visible on the other now since these boards are only have the one conducting layer and that conducting path cannot intersect the, the overlap and hence take a lot of the space as a result pcb are suitable for the low density design requirement so single sided printed board are used for the basic or the low electric low cost electrical electronic instruments such as calculator power supplies led light board fm radio and timing circuits and so on so these are basically the pcbs which are used for the fabrication of the electronic instrument like calculator power supply led led board fm radio timing circuit and so on single sided printed board that are that are cheaper as compared to the other board so this is the diagram and this is the type of single sided pcb you see on the screen here that uh, this pcb is having the copper plated and this having a substrate you see on the left hand side here the base is the substrate then the copper layer is mounted on it then the green solder mask is used for just to uh, present a wire over the connection so single sided pcb is the simplest low cost pcb or the printed circuit board this type of pc has only the single layer of the base substrate that is a fiberglass and one single conductive layer that is a copper so pcb for single sided pcb is having the hole for electronic components and are generally not plated through and these components one side and conductive circuit is on the another side so since the there is a only the conductive layer forming the circuit and it is a single sided pcb one layer pcb or a single pcb here you see that uh, here on the screen we are having the this is a single sided so connections are holes are there on the four the corners and the connections are um, connected so these are the path where we can connect the electronic components in this circuit so what are the advantages of the single sided it is very cost effective easy to manufacture and most commonly used in the various applications and suitable for the low density design easy to repair and if in case something goes wrong and it is easy to design so 
basically this single sided pcb are used in many uh, electronic components now second type is a double sided pcb double sided pcb where we having a double side connection so a thin layer of the conducting material such as copper is added both the top and the bottom side in the previous one we are having a single layer of the copper now here the copper layer are connected on upper and the lower part of the pcb so both the side double sided we have the pcb board the holes in the circuit board allows metal parts to connected to the one side to the another you see on the screen here in between the substrate there is a copper layer on the both the side and then then uh, then this copper wire are uh, used to connect the components uh, on the both the side this pcb connect the circuit on either the side using the one or the two mounting uh, methods through hole technology or the surface mount technology for preparation of the double sided pcb we use the surface mount technology that is one of the basic and important technology for the designing of the pcb that we'll discuss later so so this pcb board double sided pcb board, board are designed through the hole technology or the surface mounted technology which contains the both the side the copper layer through this hole technology that uh, entail the installing the lead component into the pre drilled holes on the circuit board and which can be soldered to the pads on the opposite sides and uh, that uh, also the placement of the electronic component on the surface of the circuit board are through the surface mount technology or through the hole technology so pcb use the both the two technology through hole technology and the surface mounted technology for its fabrication so pcb pcb are used in the variety of applications such as a cell phone uh, system power monitoring and test equipments amplifiers hvac application ups ups system and many more we where we use a double sided pcb so this uh, double sided pcb are used having the many application and uh, this type uh, of uh, pcb have the one single layer of the base substrate but conductive layer on the both the side of the substrate so solder mask is also applied on both the side of the board so double layered pcb is having the one base substrate two copper layer on both the side and the two solder mask on both the side so that on the both the side components can be connected so holes for the electronic components have been plated through for conductivity on both the circuits so conductive holes are also allow a pcb circuit from one side to attach the circuit of the other side so conductive holes are there in the pcb board to connect the uh, circuits to connect the components on both the sides of the pcb board this is the diagram of the pcb board and this type uh, is used for the cell phones and all that uh, and you commonly see in this type of board in the electronic circuits so you uh, if someone has seen the motherboard then it is also of the having the same color and the same structure are there so green solder mask are there substrate one substrate and uh, or green solder mask on both the side and the copper layer also on the both the side that is a double sided pcb and uh, electronic component as we know that can be soldered on both the side to so, through to so so by using the hole techno through a hole electronic component and the surface mounted can be soldered on the either side of of this pcb so smd surface mounted components can be soldered with the surface mounted technology since there are the two or the double conducting layers forming the circuit so that's why it is called the double sided pcb because we are having the double conductive layer that's why it is a two layer pcb also it is also called the two layer pcb double sided pcb or the two layer pcb next is the what are the advantages of uh, this uh, double sided pcb that is that it reduce the size which makes the circuit because we are using the double sided so the area of the circuitry board may be 
small. So, the, the one of the best best uh, uh, application or the best advantage of this is that uh, we can reduce the size by using the double sided PCB in the electronic gadget. Relatively, it is having a low cost, it is a very flexible uh, method. We can remove or we can add the circuitry in this uh, double sided PCB. It increases the circuit density and suitable for advanced electronic systems. Uh, next is the multi-layer PCB. As on the screen we are having the multi-layer copper layer as well as the solder mask and uh, substrate are there. Uh, the, here the multi PCB have the more than two copper layers. In general having a feature of the three conductive layers is including in this category. Means uh, two conductive conductive layers having, having uh, more conductive layers and moreover we are having a more copper layers in this type of multi layer PCB. Multi layer means we are having a many layers in it. So, multi layer PCB have more than two copper layers and uh, that is at least three conductive layers in that you can see in the diagram. Here we are having a substrate and this substrates are having the copper layer one is upper side and another side another we are having the another substrate layer then we are having the copper layer on it and the solder mask here on the both the side of this type of PCB and uh, this is designed like a sandwich fashion and there are several double sided conductive layers divided by the equal number of the insulating material sheets on it. So, that uh, we are having a number of the uh, insulating material as well as number of the conducting layer on it. Now, these are bonded and laminated together under the high pressure and the temperature to ensure there is no air gap exist that the final PCB assembly is properly suitable. So, um, these uh, layers are connected on it uh, on the substrate on the Buddha side and these are in the form of the sandwich fashion means uh, one by one the layers are attached and it is prepared to the bonded and the laminated and that is why because there should be no air gaps between the connecting uh, insulators as well as the conductors. So, multi layer PCB are used for the com computer, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, medical equipments, hand tracers, GP stair tracers and many more complex circuits and devices where we use the multi layer PCB. Multi layer PCB is uh, having the more than two layers and uh, it is having the three conductive layers of the conductive material like the copper. All the layers are interconnected with the copper plates holes, no air in between the in these uh, films and the layers can be 4, 6, 8 and up to the 40 layers it depends upon the application and depends upon the need. So, we use it. Now, see on the diagram here on the screen we are having a multi layer PCB. You see here is a copper layer and uh, again then the copper layer PCB core where we choose to use and the copper layer on the Buddha side. So, we are having a many layers and that layers are connected to each other. On the left hand side you can see the you can see the PCB board that is designed by using the multi layer uh, process. This is the multi layer PCB. So, single layer, double layer and then the multi layer PCB and it is all the active and passive components are assembled on the top and bottom of this type of PCB and all inner uh, strict layers are metal uh, meant for the routing. So, they are connecting through the copper, copper type of and uh, again we use here the whole electronic components and the through hole technology and the surface mounted technology uh, can be soldered on either side of this type of PCB. Uh, SMD components can be soldered with the surface mounted technology and the PCA tools. One of the advantages of this type of technology is the it is having a compact in size because we are using a multi layer. So, it can be work efficiently as compared to the other and the more robust means we can take the um, we can uh, attach the component or the remove the component and with the high level of the design flexibility and it is suitable for the high speed circuits. So, many of the advanced uh, equipment use multi layer PCB for the faster action or the faster response. So, this is the these are the advantages of 
PCB. Next PCB is the rigid PCB. On the screen we are having the figure of the uh, rigid PCB. As the name implies that the rigid PCB is a circuit board that cannot twist or the fold. It, it is a it is a fixed type of a PCB and the board based material is a rigid substrate which cannot be uh, flexible and which cannot be twisted or the folded and that gives the board rigidity and the strength. So we use that type of material which can provide it is the rigidity and the strength for this board. So that is why it is called the rigid PCB and uh, they are uh, made of the many multi layer including the substrate layer, copper layer and the solder marx layer and the silk screen layer and that are, that make it uh, uh, together with the adhesive or the heat heat. So, rigid PCB are there. So, although the some circuit boards are either the single sided, double sided or the multi sided, rigid PCB may be any of these depending upon the needs. However, one made they cannot be modified the changes. Means, uh, rigid uh, PCB can be the single sided or double sided to the multi layered sided and according to its need we prepare this rigid board it cannot be flexible and the rigid pcb are used for the gps gps equipments computer laptops tablets mobile phones x rays heart monitors cat scan mri scan temperature sensors control tower instrument etc so rigid uh, pcb is also used in many applications so you see on the screen this is a rigid pcb that is uh, made up on the single or the many layers so you see double sided uh, rigid pcbs uh, are on the screen that having the pcb and the two copper layers and the two solder marks are there so this is a rigid pcb and uh, this is a uh, this PCB uh, can be the single sided, double sided or multi sided and flexible and it is a flexible and the can be printed according to the requirement and uh, that cannot be bent or the force out of the shape. Once the shape has been decided then it will be like that it cannot be changed and it is not flexible and uh, a rigid PWB uh, can be single sided, double sided and multi sided cannot be modified or folded of any shape. What are the advantages of this rigid board? It is a cost effective ease of diagnostic or the repair easy we can do it and low electronic noise are there in this type of PCB ability to absorb the variations compact and it is a lightweight. So, this is a rigid PCB. Next is the flex PCB. As the name suggests, it is a flexible and uh, this is mostly used in the flexible electronic devices and where the, where the movements are there, where we are having a flexible circuits, then we use this flex PCB. So, flexible printed circuit board is made up of the many printed circuits and the components that are arranged on the flexible substrate. The flexible substrate means we use the PET paper, we use the paper, we use the um, general paper we use in the uh, for the writing and we use the PET. So, flex PCB are fabricated on the flexible substrate. So, and uh, it is the same as that uh, of the commonly made from the polymerides and uh, P polymerides is polymerides uh, uh, or a transparent conductive polyester films are used for this the fabrication journal in the journal otherwise nowadays the many printed electronic substrates are flexible electronic substrates are there for the printing of the electronic devices we use for the sensors also. The flex PCB may be of the any type means uh, the uh, versatile printed circuits are, uh, are the other names of those circuit sports. These printed circuit sports are made using the same components of the rigid printed rigid printed boards. The main uh, distinction is that uh, that the board is designed to flex to the desired form throughout the application. These PCB are available in the single sided, double sided as well as in the multi layer configurations and according to its application. This contributes to the reduction of the complexity of the unit assembly. So, on the basis of the uh, its uh, uh, requirement and its uh, application the flex PCB are made of the single or double sided or the multiple layer configuration. Then uh, where we use this flex, uh, flex PCB? We use this flex PCB in the organic light emitting diode preparation, 
and uh, that is a uh, OLED then again we use is for the LCD fabrication we use for the fabrication of the solar cell now it is the solar solar cells are prepared by using this uh, uh, flex PCB automotive industry use this flex PCB cellular telephone cameras and the complex electronic circuits products such as the laptop computers used to make the components move faster as well as the more compact we use the flex PCB it is one of the on the screen we are having the flex PCB you see it can be twisted it can be twisted it can be folded on the left hand side you see then on the upper side you see a flexible printed circuit board so this can be uh, attached for the any uh, surface that can be moved that can be flexible so that we that according to its requirement and on the screen we are having it this is the construction of the two layer flexible PCB where we are having the different layer and different attachments so we can have the connecting material we have a substrate that can be used here so that flexible PCB is also flex PCB is called the flexible PCB flex FPC flex circuit flex print and flexi circuits and printed electronics in the printed electronics we use the flex PCB as the name suggests these flex PCB are flexible and can be folded and not hard as a rigid PCB. So, substrate of the flexible board is made of the flexible plastic or thin insulating polymer film so that it can be easily uh, folded. So, polymeride or the similar polymer or the capton is are, are used for uh, the fabrication of the flex board and uh, that will be the uh, that, that will be work as a substrate. So, connecting copper circuit is printed on the this substrate and uh, or it, may, it may be printed it may be through the printer or it may be uh, it may be through the masking and as a production producting code or the thin layer polymers are applied on the protect of the circuit so that it cannot be damaged the copper traces the copper copper tracks have the component layout on this flexible board so again okay, similarly we use the conductive board generally we use the CMD components and uh, that will be soldered on the flexible PWB uh, using the uh, surface mounted technology for the construction of the flex PCB. What are the advantages of the flex PCB? This flex PCB saves space and uh, moreover it eliminates connect connectors moreover it is uh, thermal management are there according to the uh, substrate we are using at increase the reliability and the repeatability and it is having the low cost moreover it provide the uniform electrical characteristics for the high speed circuitry that is why it is used in most of the advanced electronic gadgets uh, suitable for applications where the high signal trace density is needed where we use the flexible electronics moreover some of the neural problem we use uh, we use this type of uh, flex uh, electronics. Next uh, and uh, which is a rigid flex PCB. Uh, this type of PCB which contains a rigid material as well as the flexible that is a high hybrid type of the circuit that combines the elements from the both the flexible as well as the rigid circuit boards uh, resulting on the board that can be folded and the continuously flexed and is typically and is uh, typically shaped into the flexed shaped and the curved during the manufacturing process. You see on the screen that here is the rigid flex PCB. The flexible portion of the board is typically used for the interconnecting between the rigid boards allowed the narrower conductors line that take up the less room resulting on the smaller board. So, by using this flexible use uh, flexible PCB interconnections often reform that need the connectors which are bulky and conversion making the rigid flex printed circuit boards much lighter. So, this is used in, mo in most of the advanced electronic gadgets. So, so rigid flex PCB design are little more complicated. Uh, because here we use the 3D boards uh, and allow the board to be folded or twisted to produce the desired shape and the result. Designing 3D allows for the greater spatial performance which can then be used in the spatial cases 
where the space and the weight reductions are needed such as the medic medical devices where we use and boards are designing in the co compact manner and their lightweight nature makes them an excellent option for a wide range of application in the aerospace medical and the, and the consumer electronic fields and uh, this type of uh, rigid bodies are there you see on the screen there these are the rigid flex pcb you see in between that we are having a flex and on the both the side we have a rigid area and the middle one is the area what are the advantages of this pcb 3 360 bendability are there here in this uh, rigid flex uh, pcb and uh, reduce size requirement through this uh, 3d ability shock uh, resistance are there increased reliability lightweight fewer shoulder joints are there as you assure higher connections uh, reliability simplified pcb assembly and process and uh, this electronic component rapidly miniaturization has uh, means ever uh, has given rise to the ever smaller device geometries even as the performance of the computing power increases thank you very much